Hey folks, it's Rick and Fred. On Saturday morning, not often that the two of us have time to spend together in the car. So here we go. Oh, Fred's gonna see a dog, so he's gonna bark. It's Roxy, Fred. Oh no, he didn't bark, good. All right, so Fred is here. Saturday morning, last night we played a yoga class um, at a different studio where we've never played before. Uh, well, I played and Kendall taught the yoga class. What are you whining about? There's nothing to whine about. Oh, you sat down. So Fred's alarm is gonna go off. Anyway, there it is. Well, get put on your seatbelt. You should be wearing Really? What are you saying? He's pretty happy. He's all right with riding in the car. He's a little bit of a whiner because he doesn't know where he's going, huh, buddy? You don't know where you're going. Anyway, we have booked a bunch of gigs this summer. I mean, compared to our normal bunch of gigs. Normally, we don't play many. But I think I've got eight gigs booked over the summer. I think that's pretty good. So the second breakfast season is beginning. I'm into it. First one is going to be on May 5th. So very good. We're learning some new stuff. We're excited to get out and play. I love it. Oh, Freddie. What else is going on? I've been told that I can't spend any more money right now. So no more gear for a little while. And the Happy Hound is open. So I'm gonna take Fred in to get his nails done. Everybody, be cool. Hey folks, Rick again with Fred on the floor. He's being a pretty good boy. This is um, all you need. This is a Stratocaster. And a Fender Princeton Reverb with a Wampler Tumnus hanging out of the input. And you're set. Forget about all these pedals. Just need this one. nice to have an American Stratocaster, but do you need one? You can get one of these nice made in Japan ones. And they sound really good if you put the right pickups in them too. wanted to play my guitar through my Princeton. All right, Fred's got his nails done and he's got a new bandana. Look, it's a monkey bandana, there's monkeys on it. Isn't that great? Well, we're gonna go visit grandma now. It's such a beautiful day here. Allison Park, Pennsylvania not where we live we live in Glenshaw but this is the next door town and um, so I had a friend call me yesterday he sent me a message happens all the time um, he sent me that message he's getting a dobro he's gonna learn to play it I was like whoa dude I am afraid to play the dobro you know why I'm afraid to play the dobro and I've said this this is, I'm repeating somebody here. I'm repeating my old boss. So there's a, a ton of good banjo players, and a ton of good guitar players, and a ton of good mandolin players. Dobro, dobro players, there's one. One guy who does it so much better than anybody else that nobody else 
uh, it's almost futile, you know? Listen, none of us are, and nobody can be Jerry Douglas, because Jerry Douglas is the best over a player ever. Anyway, so he was asking me, you know, what do I need? What kind of pedals do I need? What kind of, um, do I need an amp? He's asking me what kind of pedals he needs, all of them. Just buy it, all the pedals you can find. No, for just acoustic, right? And a lot of people ask this question, you know, how do you amplify yourself with acoustic? It's a tough thing because acoustic amps sound really great, but they tend to not have enough power. Uh, the older ones did. And I sold mine. I had a California Blonde. Uh, SWR California Blonde and I sold it a while back well because it was problematic the reverb quit working and I got it fixed and it quit working again that was difficult and it was a big heavy amp to carry around and my back's not getting any healthier so I got the Fishman stuff because I figured hey the Fishman stuff sounds great and I'm right it does sound great so if I'm playing in church it's good if I have to do a yoga gig it's good if I have to play with second breakfast that little Fishman Loudbox Mini is not cutting it. And I wonder, then, I wonder if the larger Fishman would be good. So I sent him a link for the new Fender acoustic amp, uh, the one that looks like it belongs in your living room, not on your stage or not like in the back of your car being shipped around with your, all your other beat up gear. Um, but it, those are pretty cool little lamps, I like them. But I think they're the same as the Fishman's, I don't think they're loud enough. Um, but he asked, you know, and those amps always have like reverb and chorus, sometimes they have delay, uh, sometimes it's all foot switchable, they'll have line outs, if you want to run to a bigger PA system. So they're good. They're they're good amps. I like to have I'd like to have one of those fenders. Alright everybody. Once again, be cool. Hey folks, it's Rick. I was just gonna rant a little bit here. No I'm not. Forget it. <laughs>